Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I want to share my five homework fragrances that transition from the fall to the holidays with me every single year. Now, one of these is going to be new for this year. Um, I'll mention that one last. But these other fragrances I have been using around my house basically from mid-August, which is when I decorate for fall, um, through the end of December, which is obviously, you know, the festive holiday time of the year. I just think that these particular scents are great basically for the last half of the year. And if you've never considered using these as holiday fragrances, I really encourage you to kind of think outside of the box and maybe consider them because they're beautiful around the holidays as well. And these tend to lend themselves really well to blending with a lot of different types of holiday tree fragrances as well. So um, yeah, while I know not everybody is ready to start thinking about holiday candles, I do think a lot of us are kind of starting to make that transition. So before we kind of take that hard left turn and, you know, basically start plowing into new holiday scents, I think it's worth kind of reconsidering some of these fall fragrances and hopefully you already have some of these in your collection but i do believe that pretty much all of these are currently still available for purchase so they might be worth picking up as you know these fall sales are starting to come to a close and you know maybe homeworks starts clearancing some of these things out um maybe you can pick these up at a good price point and incorporate them into your holiday candle burning. What I like to do when a uh, when a label on a candle is very is like a very distinct fall candle label is I just will basically uh, cut that label off. The Homeworks labels are just shrink wrapped onto the jars, so it's very easy to take just an X-Acto knife and to slide that up and then you can literally peel that off. There's no glue or anything like that. And then you can put these either in a hurricane. Um, most of these have a wax color that I think lends itself to, you know, holiday colors as well. They're, they're pretty neutral. So um, anyway, that is what we are discussing today. Um, I just absolutely adore all of these fragrances. And like I said, they are not only wonderful during the fall time, but man, I love these around the holidays as well. So I'm going to get started with my first two original fragrances that I started doing this with. And we're going way back to like the olden days of when Homeworks first launched over on QVC because that is how long I have been burning these both in the fall and around the holidays as well. So we're gonna get started with my all time favorite, Harvest Leaves. Who doesn't love them some Harvest Leaves? I know some of you out there do not, so <laughs> totally fine. Not everybody has to love it, but man, this really is like my all time favorite fragrance from Homeworks. Um, I love that the label has mostly remained the same over the years. Um, this one here uh, is actually from 2022. So um, yeah, the fragrance notes of this one read spiced pumpkin, mandarin, cranberry, fir balsam, and applewood. There is definitely a fir balsam note in here. And so that automatically puts it in the holiday category for me. But also I think the addition of the cranberry also very much lends this to being a wonderful fragrance for not only around like the holidays, but Thanksgiving as well. And it's got this gorgeous kind of deep rusty red wax that obviously, you know, could be fall, could be Christmas, could go either way. But yeah, these labels, you guys, are really easy to take off. As you can see here, they're just shrink wrapped on. So if you just take an X-Acto knife and slide that up, you can just take that off and then you just have this gorgeous, like rusty red wax and pop it in a hurricane, looks like a million bucks and smells like a million bucks. This, I just, I, I really hope that Harry never discontinues this particular one because 
Like I said, I have adored it from day one that it launched over on QVC. I have never been without this during the fall. I have never been without this during the holidays. And going forward, I hope that I never have to be without this one. So don't discontinue it, Harry. <laughs> the second one is also from way back in the day and it's autumn pumpkin now i will admit this is this is orange so this one might be kind of tough to pass off color wise but if you can maybe tuck it in a hurricane that kind of disguises it a little bit more i think it's absolutely worth doing because oh man if you've never stuck your nose in this one it is such a warm comforting cozy truly like inviting homey fragrance i adore this one now this is available in some of the luxe um jars as well and actually harvest leaves is available in some luxe jars right now too so maybe if you want a larger size you can purchase that um but the notes in this one oh my gosh this one's from 2018 you guys sorry i, ju I just realized it's it's a 2018 now it is a it is a four wake it's not a three wake but yeah man this is an oldie here okay so the notes in here are pumpkin orange um cardamom cinnamon clove nutmeg so what really lends this one to the holiday vibe for me personally is the addition of the clove and the orange um it's a very distinct pumpkin definitely that's kind of the first thing that hits you with this one but man, that orange and that clove, and then just those classic like fall slash holiday spices of the nutmeg and the cinnamon. You guys, this one is absolute perfection. And if you've never considered it, please think about trying it because it is heavenly and it is one that I always get so many compliments on. Like I said, the orange might be a little more tough to pass off in terms of, you know, a holiday color, but I don't know if you can figure out a way to make it work. I'm telling you, you've got to try this one around the holidays. Okay, the next one is going to be the very nutty praline pecan. Now this one, I think you can definitely leave the label on this one. Um, the wax is a really nice kind of nutmeggy brown over here. So either way with this one um my husband certainly eats pecan pie <laughs> during christmas uh dinner dessert so uh, man that guy loves him some pecan pie here's the funny thing about me i love the way that it smells but i think it is the most disgusting looking gelatinous concoction <laughs> i i can't get past the texture of pecan pie um yeah like even looking at this sometimes makes me a little bit uncomfortable a lot of times i will just peel this label off but man the fragrance itself mm, i love it okay so the notes in this one are pecan creamy toffee whipped vanilla and almond butter so it's just a really delicious kind of somewhat basic nutty gourmand but it's really well done it is absolutely worth checking out and if you've never tried it man this one just rocks my world every single year again i love it right now you know in the fall but it's an easy transition over to the holidays with this one it is so good it's absolutely worth checking out if you've never tried it get it trust me it is delicious kind of consider myself a little bit of a gourmand expert over here and that one is i think you gotta have it if you're a gourmand lover and you love those nutty scents, you gotta try that one. Okay, next, cranberry sauce. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of basic, but hear me out. When I first started purchasing candles way back in the day, my very first candle that I ever purchased with my first paycheck from my first job when I turned 18 years old, um, I bought myself a Yankee Candle Cranberry Chutney. And to this day, that is still a fragrance that lives with me not only in the fall months, but also throughout the holidays as well. Cranberries are fantastic basically for the whole last half of the year, I feel like. And this one is really well done, you guys. If you've never tried it, I think it's actually quite close to the cranberry chutney scent profile. 
So um, if you don't want to deal with Yankee because of burn issues or whatever, I think this one's worth checking out. This one has bur always burned really well for me. Oh, I love it. And it's one where, again, you don't really have to change the label. Um, well, I don't know. Let me know what you guys do in terms of holiday dinners. Um, my family has always done turkey and ham for Christmas dinner. So, um, and we also do turkey for Thanksgiving, obviously. So cranberry sauce at Christmas dinner is a normal thing for us. And I really love my mom's cranberry chutney. Um, I do not eat the cranberry sauce out of a can. It's so easy to make your own with fresh cranberries. I don't understand why anyone eats canned cranberries, but you know, it's fine if you do. I just, I don't know. I just, I think homemade cranberry sauce is just so much better. And this just has that beautiful, sweet, tart cranberry base to it. So the notes in here are stewed cranberries, Valencia orange peel, spiced red apple, and cane sugar. So you've got a pretty basic scent profile here, but it's incredibly well done and it's authentic. I think that's the part that always gets me about this one. So again, great in the fall as kind of that like tangy cranberry to change things up a little bit. But again, Thanksgiving, Christmas, this one makes sense to me and it's one that for a couple of years now that I have used around the fall and holidays. So really, really great one there. And the last one, listen, I didn't bring the whole thing up because it's currently burning downstairs and it's a big five wick mama jama. It's the cinnamon vanilla. So here's the lid from it. <laughs> By the way, I put mine in my Chester Hurricane and it pulled out so fast in that hurricane. I know a lot of people have had trouble with the Homeworks Lux candles pooling out. I'm telling you, they need a hurricane. Otherwise, you better dedicate at least seven to eight hours of your life for allowing for that initial pool to happen because it will take that long. But my Chester Hurricane takes care of that, like, like a champ. So anyway, this one here, I actually fell in love with this this year. Um, my friend Fiona actually gifted me an extra four wick that she had. And she was like, have you ever tried this? And I was like, no, I haven't tried that one. She's like, you should try it. It's really good. So um, I'm really glad she did that because I totally skipped over that one. I was like, oh, that's just a boring basic scent. And yes, it is a very basic fragrance, but man, is it just done incredibly well. And because it is basically just cinnamon and vanilla, it kind of also gives off like some Cinnabon vibes as well. I think that that is perfect, not only for the fall as a delicious like fall gourmand, but man, we eat cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning around here, so this is perfect. I actually gifted myself the Lux size this year as my like big mama jama candle. I'm starting this new tradition for myself where every year for the holidays, I'm gifting myself like a, a big massive candle. Last year, it was the Veluspa Noble for Garland. By the way, if you've never tried that one, oh, it's so good. It's spendy. Listen, I know it's spendy, but I'm gonna have that hearth candle for basically all eternity. It burns for a ridiculous amount of hours. So, um, but this year I was like, I need this. I just, I fell in love with it, with the first one that I burned that Fiona gifted me. And there was no way that I was gonna pass up the cinnamon vanilla in the Lux. So purchased it off QVC and it is filling almost the entire downstairs of my house, you guys. It is so, so good. So if you haven't considered this one for the holidays, I think you should do it. It's it's a really great option. So anyway, let me know if you have any Homeworks fragrances that transition from the fall to the holidays with you. Um, I think it's always kind of interesting to see how people perceive fragrances and whether they're seasonal burners or not, or whether, you know, they're transitioning things or whether there's like a hard cutoff for certain types of scents. So if you also have some homework scents that you think are great during the fall as well as the holidays, definitely leave that down below in the comments. I will link where you can find all of these in the description box down below. I will also put my discount code for the homeworks website down there. So if you wanna save yourself 15%, 
off of your purchase of $40 or more feel free. Um, it doesn't always work with all of the sales. So, you know, and you can also use rewards as well, but I'll definitely link where you can find these. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.